Aloha everyone and welcome back to another space weather update. My name is Alexis. This is the Ascension Diaries where I track the sun, the earth and our collective consciousness. So let's get into it. I definitely underplayed the the volcanic activity that occurred in the last 48 hours from that X2 solar flare that sent all that solar wind impacting the earth causing earthquakes and for this fissure to basically open up in Iceland and begin pouring lava out of it. When I first saw it, this happen, I saw one little area opening up and I saw you that I showed you that footage yesterday, but throughout the day with the expansion of the story and testimony from people in Iceland, there was some concern because this particular area has not opened up like this before really. And they haven't had an eruption in a way this large before. There's a lot of volume coming out still. And there was, again, a decent distance where this whole area has kind of been opened up and is not available and is, you know, a bit spicy, let's say. So this tweet is actually from the president of Iceland, this particular image that they're sharing. And you can see here on the bottom, there is some more aerial footage. So when they're there's a lot of great footage actually that every drone photographer is getting. Ooh, this is, even has sound. So if you want to see from this, from the sky. It's actually quite noisy. Which makes sense, ripping the crust open. But then it starts to melt and then the noise is over. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I think I just saw lightning over here. That doesn't make sense. But yeah, beautiful. I mean, risky. I mean, that drone's certainly getting close. <laughs> Excuse the noise. But it's intense. Um, spiritually for our planet, this is quite the beacon. This is quite the sign. Now, we are in a new moon cycle. So the moon has moved into the sign of Aries here on December 20th. Tomorrow is the winter summer solstice of the earth. So this is where we're going to have the darkest night over here in north, the northern hemisphere. And on the southern hemisphere, they're going to have the brightest day in a way, the longest day. So now that the moon is in Aries, you're going to have a lot of go get them energy. You're going to have, you may have actually had a hard time sleeping last night because <laughs> the moon has entered into Aries and Mercury is also going towards the sun, which we can see in the footage today that uh, <laughs> basically Mercury and the sun are starting to tango together and <laughs> and now of course yeah the moon is in Aries so there's going to be some fire going on there's going to be some electricity some intensity tomorrow being the 21st and a very sacred holy day in my opinion for the planet there's only four <clears throat> sacred holy days like this but I look forward to taking it off tomorrow and enjoying it as my personal winter celebration I even had dreams last night again confirming with me that we do not celebrate the birth of Christ on the 25th because that's not when they were born and I'm supposed to celebrate that during Easter time <laughs> and but the solstice is perfectly fine and hanging out with the solstice is is honoring our earth and the mother Gaia our own internal feminine energy in my opinion so I'm looking forward to Easter time and springtime where in a way that life does return here in North America and life begins to be able to grow again. And that to me is more of a religious understanding and sign that this new life is here, that in a way the Christ energy can grow and flourish and populate the area. So that's my personal beliefs, but if you've been kind of feeling weird just to, I just wanted to share with you, to share with you my journey with this. And again, I don't, I'm not trying to pull you along with me. I'm just trying to explain myself. And if you feel the same way, perhaps there's a reason. And perhaps me telling you this is a little bit of a, a connecting factor. Like you're not alone. When it comes to sunspots though, we're also not alone. And we have quite a few sunspot groups showing up. <laughs> This to me is 
again, people's minds, mind, body, spirit complexes trying to prepare to please everyone during this holiday and during this time of intense commercialism pressure as well. So this sunspot group that's facing us is humongous. This is a very dense polarity and this is a very dense polarity. They're technically pretty far away from each other in a way, but they're clearly touching, they're clearly engaging, right? So this could create a solar flare. If these two spots get closer together, especially, this could create a massive solar flare that is pretty dead center earth facing. This one group right here, although it doesn't look as big, and this group right here, similar size, they could be just as volatile. It's when these two central storms start getting really close that we get those sparks. So I'm seeing evidence of potential solar flares today, the 20th, into tomorrow, the 21st, during the solstice, and the 22nd for sure. I'm seeing great potential for that, as the sun has actually been pretty quiet and nothing's quite erupted since we had those massive solar flares a couple days ago. <clears throat> See, even spaceweather.com is sensing it. That is so funny. Well, they were kind of messed up on the last article, but hey, I love this website, so let's keep going with them and playing with their articles, getting that conversation going, right? Coming soon, an Earth-directed flare. So they believe that what I just said, just from eyeballing the, public's, the public information, they're saying the same thing. So we have potential M-class solar flare coming our way this next week, <laughs> or I guess into the weekend. But uh, yeah, we are on the same page for that one today, spaceweather.com and I. Let's look at the wind speed. It is at 463 kilometers per second. That is only 63 kilometers per second over the average. That is certainly better than yesterday. That is a huge difference from this video yesterday. So if you're feeling a huge difference in your body, Keep an eye on that. Keep attuning that. We have more polar stratospheric clouds showing up. So a wonderful, op, uh, I would say, a wonderful vision. And if you can imagine, you're going through your spiritual process, right? And you're meditating outside in whatever Arctic circle area you're living. And this is in Norway. When you look up to the sky and you see this, what would you really feel? Like you would feel transcendently magical in my opinion. Like look at this unicorn beauty over here, this opalescent gorgeousness. Like what a gift. It would be so cool to see this in, in person. So Norway is certainly on the list of places I want to visit because they have so many beautiful sky anomalies, but also the people are really funny. And they like to, they love music and they love to dance and they have great, you know, a really decent diet. I'll be honest with you. I mean, it's not as complex, a lot of fish and grains in a way, but it's pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good diet. So one thing I have to point out, which is insane, is that we are sunspot number 144 updated today. So we have 144 sunspots on the sun at this time, or we've had that all year. Um, hmm. What is the sunspot number? Okay, well, let's just take a peek a because I actually don't know what they're talking about. Counting sunspots is not as straightforward as it sounds. Suppose you look at the sun through a pair of filtered binoculars. You may see two or three large sunspots. But if you're looking through a high-powered telescope, you may see 10 or 20. But at the space-based observatory, you can see maybe 50 to 100. Wow, so they really are just looking at the disk today and telling you they see 144 sunspots on it? That's the, that's the title of the video today. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my goodness, that's magical. Okay, so going into the solstice tomorrow, right now and into tomorrow, yeah, there's something beautiful. There is an alignment going on. There is angelic, godly magic happening and flooding the earth. I mean, 
it is the time of year most people who are in the brainwashed commercialist society actually think about Christ for a second. And so it is a beautiful time. I'm not dogging on it, but it is frustrating (laughs) for me and my soul and my soul mission because I believe what I'm here to do and bring back the memory of like Alexandria's library are a few things about I would say biblical times and how they actually went down. So I know there's technology now where they're able to view these times, but the soul genetically mutated and reacted to those things and those memories are in there. So I think many of you have brought those genetic mutation memories here and they'll crack open and unlock as a way of, I would say, almost like a um, like a white blood cell of this great body or a, a memory T cell in specific where they have a memory of this virus already and they have the solution. So that's what I believe a lot of you are and what your mission is on earth if that helps you. What sort of viral load are you here to dismiss? <laughs> So here is a little bit of extra help from the electromagnetic field around the earth. As you can see, it's actually expanding like a bubble because the pressure is actually coming off. Do you see that motion? Pressure is coming off the earth because the solar wind is significantly slowed down. Maybe even this distance is 200 kilometers per second of solar wind distance. (laughs) Um, When it comes to the math of how that pressure would compile on us, That's that mouth right there. (laughs) Thankfully for me, I don't have to calculate it. I just get to look at it like this on a beautiful model like this. (laughs) And when it comes to the electromagnetic field that and the magnetic lines that are nodding behind the planet like this, as the the wind kind of knots and coils up on itself and then continues going onward to the rest of the planets. (laughs) I love watching it nod up like this. It's like, all, that's all the stuff that we, it was like, you know what, we don't need this. This is for the other planets. And we gathered it up and we sent it on its way like a little knitted sweater. <laughs> so when it comes to solar flares, like I said, they haven't been that active. Let's see over the last seven days. So we're in the seven day window now where the last solar flare happened on the 14th. And things have gradually dissipated to much less intense conditions. But like we said, spaceweather.com and myself we're seeing some potential for some more flares coming at you so that's our job we're going hey calm everything's calm right now excelente take your break get your stuff done rest but there's more coming in a couple days if not in the next 24 hours so you'll feel it come through You'll feel it come through your body, and I want to challenge you on this video. I want to challenge you to try and feel the next solar flare in your body. If you haven't quite tuned into that yet, let's tune into it. Let's see what's trending today on Twitter. Dun da da! Guess who's still trending? XRP is trending. That's going to be a wonderful sign. And if you are interested in getting hooked up with your Conscious Crypto Academy support, technical support, you're going to have to go to join.consciouscrypto.info to get that information and sign up and get your get your money moved around because this is insane. Like it's it's coming in and out of the top trending topics. I asked, like I didn't even know if you were going to get to see it, but when I was recording and preparing this video, I kept seeing a pop up, pop up, and then disappear. So that was all meant to be. You were meant to see that. I'm not even kidding. Now let's look what's up here. UAP disclosure. Again, that's two days in a row. Cancun. I don't know why Eric, who Eric is. I'm not going to click it. Uranus, Cancun, UAPs. Now we have senators at Coyotes. Now that is totally a calm in my brain because I have the Senate in my mind. I was going to post a meme stack with something about the Senate. They're singing, you know, a gospel choir was in there singing clearing the space and then coyotes i know deeply especially here in the south of the usa are it's a famous name for people who are trafficking um in the desert and so the senators at coyotes 
There may be something in the news today about the border and about trafficking and about so on, and it may have right to the Senate. So that is how I kind of pull that information, I would say, from these synchros. Just observe me. Do it your way. I'm just showing you how my brain works. So we're looking at the sun. Everybody's talking about it. He's ready. He's like, there's sunspots. It's coming. We had more aurora last night, but not as intensely. But hey, my homie in Alaska saw them. So they were legit and they were out there. <clears throat> We've got Italy here showing us that the electromagnetic field of us below the atmosphere, you know, people walking the earth, this is this particular pocket that we're measuring and it's getting active. Is it getting active in Russia? Mm -hmm. I would say a little more naturally so and a little less unnaturally so. These are more natural readings than all this horizontal stuff. So as soon as stuff stops getting horizontal or violently vertical in this chart, that's when it's more organic looking. That's when I really like looking at it. So for those of you interested for studying in the future, just that advice. Let's see. I believe we're just going to quickly look at the earthquake situation. There was another shake that you can see is showing up on almost all of these charts. It may have started in Venezuela. La Laguna. Excuse me. La Laguna Baja, California is clearly still shaking. Could just be continually shaking. Um, I might want to look into that and figure out why, because <laughs> that's pretty common. And I haven't investigated that yet, so maybe on the next video we can talk about that. Overall, though, the global consciousness has been incoherent pretty much all night, and it's moving into coherency right now on the 20th. With 144 sunspots, the sun itself is bringing you potentially into coherency and ready to celebrate this year's solstice. So I hope that everyone in Iceland and everyone else living near a volcano or a fault line is perfectly healthy, happy, safe, aligned. And if you ever get those instincts, hey, I just want to go for a drive or hey, let's go stay over here for a weekend. Don't, you know, don't fight yourself. Don't get mad at yourself for having those impulses. Reward yourself for having that intuition and having those feelings because that's mother nature I think trying to talk to you and save you that's your instincts that's where the birds are fleeing minutes before anything even happens that's the kind of energy I'm trying to instill and revitalize in our collective to prepare us for more 2024 <laughs> more in 2024 so that is all for me today a longer video but I'm not, I'm taking tomorrow off. So I will see you on the 22nd. Happy solstice again. And I am glad to be reading all of your comments and reposting them and loving up on you guys on social media. So until then, I will see you. Beep, bubble, beep.